Hi guys, so today we're doing a review on our Giant Tech uh, double tub portable washer machine. Um, we got this in January, and I mean we've used it, so now I think we could tell you basically everything. So this is about 16, 17 pounds. Okay, it's really light. Um, anyone can really do whatever. It's really not heavy. Um, you have this is your wash side. So this can carry 11 pounds in the washer. Um, this is a, it's dirty, but this is a um, lint trap. Is it? Yeah. Look. I, didn't, I gotta clean it again, but. Let me see. Um, I've never seen that one. It catches the lint in it. Okay. You do need to make sure you have a scrubber and like a bucket or something when you're cleaning this because you don't want it in your tub or wherever you have this. Um, this is your spin. You can only do about six pounds in the spin cycle. So half your load can go in the spin cycle. <laughs> um, like I said, we've used this for almost a year. So it's, a, it's not like brand new. This is your wash time. You can do, you um, wash for 15 minutes. So you fill up this with water and your clothes and your soap, turn it off in 15 minutes. Then you- Hold on, hold on. I do want to add, that uh, it's gonna say like a different brand in the description, but this is what they, they This is sent what they it. sent us. Yeah, but it still works. It was it. like $105. Um, it's small, it's portable, it's perfect for like apartments, RVs, campers, even a motel room. Like this is great. Um, so you have your normal wash, and then this is for when you're washing like delicates like knitted or crocheted type things. This is to drain it. Um, what I like to do is because this is just a wash time, so you have to drain it first, put new water in, and then rinse it. So it's 15 minutes per cycle. So you wash, you drain, you you rinse. That's like 30 minutes. Um, and then this, you take half your load, put it in here, put it all the way over to the five. So all in all, it takes about 40 minutes for one load and then you hang to dry. This is a spin cycle, so it gets all, all that water, but it does not dry your clothes. And we're gonna go into the house and we will start a load for you. Again, it's extremely light. I've, I'm able to move it throughout the house. We've had it outside in both bathrooms. Okay, so we have it in our bathroom. We have it on those two because in order to have, this is a gravity drain, so you have to have this up higher than the drain. We like to stick ours in our shower because then we have a spot for it to drain into the tub. Um, so, we have an extension cord plugged up. Oh, that worked right. You do, you do need an adapter? You do need an adapter because it is a three prong. Right. All right. So we have an adapter. This is the Does only it say thing... anything about electricity on it? No. Wait, wait, wait. Um, no. Yeah, it's 110 volts, I huh. think it said. 110 volts? Hold on. Can you let go? Oh, yeah. I knew that. Um, so yeah, it is 120, okay, the machine runs off 120 volts. The tub, the, the, this one is, hold on, is 300 watts of washing power. The spin cycle is 110 watts of spinner power. Um, hold on. So what we do, because it never came with these tubes, this is a water inlet tube. They never come with it. And so, got, they and they have two. two, but so we use this. So you got to make sure that this is not on drain. Make sure it's up here at is normal. It, if it's at drain, it's just going to drain out all the water and you're not going to. So what I like to do. I set this in here, 
and I get my laundry soap. Now, because you're washing such a small load, you do not need so a lot of laundry soap. I just take it one, two, three. Okay, so it says 11 pounds of clothes. I personally will only wash like um, one whole outfit of my husband's. He's kind of a bigger guy and men clothes tend to be heavier. So I wash one outfit of his. Um, I will say catch up on your laundry. Do not think that you're gonna be able to buy this and catch up on your laundry. It's not happening. I have a family of five and it works great. But you cannot catch up on your laundry. You need to be all caught up and do laundry on the daily. Because this is not huge. I could possibly fit more clothes in it, that's true. But I'd much rather make sure that I don't break my washer by only adding like one outfit of my husband's, maybe an outfit of mine, because I wear I don't really wear jeans, I wear a lot of like leggings and basketball shorts. Um, I'll wash like two outfits of mine. I will wash all three of my kids' together because they're little, so their clothes are not heavy. Their clothes are not like big. So I probably do three loads a day. Well, if I was caught up on laundry. And this will not wash what? This will not wash blankets. This will wash, I have washed um, full size sheets on this. I wash my shoes. He's washed his shoes. Do not put your shoes in the spinner. After you wash them, just hang them outside because you're going to screw up not only this, but you're going to ruin your shoes. I must admit, I did break my shoes though. The, yes. The bottom part, they unfolded. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not too sure if it's because I wore the shoes out, but they did break when I did wash them. Um, I can wash two towels. Again, the spinner is only half of what you wash, so that spinner only puts in one towel. Um. I do still need to go like places for like my king size sheets, blankets, patch, uh, mattress protectors. I've washed my my son's really heavy um, jacket or blanket in here. So I mean, I've washed quite a few items in here. No fleece because it gets too heavy. Like, um, not fleece. What is that? Corduroy. No, that stuff that um, all those blankets we got. That, that, that yeah. felt. Please? Felt. It's felt? Yeah. Okay, so after you get the water and the clothes in there, turn it to 15. As you can tell, this is, it spins it. So the reason we bought this. Wait, wait, I want to see it spin. The reason we bought this is because I was washing clothes in the tub. This is a lifesaver compared to the tub. Um, I will say sometimes you gotta wash it like two, depending on how soiled the clothes are. When Chris worked outside, it would have been like two, two washes to how soiled his clothes were. So these are inside clothes. Well, he works at Target now, so they're inside. But sometimes they do need like two washes. So basically, I dip, I go on what the water says. If the water is black, it needs another wash. Um, if I'm washing my son's stuff. I rinse it twice because, you know, you can never be careful, too careful. Um, so, so is this recommended for indoor or outdoor use? What would you think? Um, I guess it really... Oh, what is that? <laughs> I didn't put this on right. Oh, the lid trap? Yeah.
so they put it on upside down. That's smart. Alrighty, so we're gonna let this wash. So I'm gonna let this wash and we'll be back to show you how it drains. Yep. See you guys in the next one. This thing doesn't have like a buzzer or anything, it just kind of clicks off. So you gotta be kind of careful with that. Make sure you're paying attention. So you flip this from normal to drain. If you look down here, all the water is now draining out. We got a truck tub room, that way any of this junk gets hooked on there, not our tub. And then we clean it out when we're done with each load. So you let all this drain out. It's pretty quick. I like to kind of squeeze it out a little bit, make sure there's not a lot of soap left. Okay. Now, all the water's out of there. It's all dry, so we click over to normal. Again, if you have it on drain when you're filling the water up, it's just gonna drain out, so make sure you put it back to normal. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. Okay, and then again, we get the water in here. Now this is a rinse cycle because we just washed. So, uh, let that fill up for a couple minutes. And then we're just gonna spin it back to 15. So basically we just rewash it. Well, we rinse we, it. We don't add soap this time. Yeah, so we just rewash it. So now you're rinsing. You want to get that water. That's a time lapse. No. Okay, so um, it takes a few minutes, but we got it all filled up, so now we're going to rinse it. Um, I do want to say that if perhaps you are waiting for this to fill up, and you go to do a chore and you get sidetracked, um, it will not overflow out this way. It will automatically just start draining through there. Um, It'll still stay like the same level, like way up here, but it'll just drain out through this area and it'll drain through there. So you're not having to worry about it overflowing into your bathroom or wherever you have it. So now we just wait 15 minutes again and then we'll be able to spin. Okay, so we rinsed it, now we're draining it and we're gonna do the rinse cycle. So I'm drain. This is done. And we're gonna be using this one. So that's our spin. Okay, so so because I do normal small loads, that's you know, that's the whole outfit. How much? Yeah, you of course you can't. Your shirt is black. Oh yeah, okay. So this goes down, this goes down, and you spin it all the way. Now, you can open this and watch it wash. If you open this, it will stop spinning. Can you show this? And the timer is still going. Yeah, the timer will still go. So this is about five minutes. It will not be dry, but it will be spun. And you just hang it outside to dry or a clothesline inside or wherever you hang your clothes. Um, the reason why you bought this and not a dryer to go with it is we live in Arizona and Arizona is the sunniest state. 
So to us, a dryer was just pointless. Even when it's cold and windy like today, it'll still dry out there. So um, that's our video on the Giantex Double Tub uh, Portable Washer. If you like this video, like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and the link to this will be put in the description. You guys have a great day. See you on the next one.